G'day YouTubers. Today we're going to attempt to put two old DJI Phantoms in the air. One of them is the first one ever built and the other one is the 3 Advanced. Now the 3 Advanced is the one that I'm a bit sad about because the actual camera and the gimbal got broken in an accident. But we're going to show you that this thing is still a very capable machine. Follow us and we'll show you how. You can now buy these things online and an attachment point here and mount your GoPro straight on the bottom of it. So what was over a thousand dollar drone isn't totally useless. We can still use it. We had the DJI camera mounted here. We took all of that off. Now I don't know whether or not this should have been done, but I actually just got some scissors and cut clean through the connection wires and stuffed them back up in the body. Now this is the first flight after the accident. And I'm not putting my GoPro in because if we have a flyaway, I don't want to lose a $500 camera. So okay, here we go. First flight after the accident. One short press and then long hold for two seconds. It works. <laughs> How exciting. Sorry about the wind distortion there, guys. I had to record this one in the office. So uh, pull your levers back down and to the middle. And... Yep, we've got fire up right there. We've got this set in GPS mode, so it's all very stable. Left and right, that's good. Everything seems to be working fine. we we'll just go for a high speed dart across the paddock. Here we go. Turn her around and come straight back. Oh, that's lovely. She's working fine. I can actually see that this is still going to have a lot of potential, this little drone. When shutting it off, grab it by the bottom and pull your lever straight down. Shut her off. All right, let's turn our GoPro on and get some footage. As soon as it makes that woom woom sound, it's ready to go. Oh, it's working well with the GoPro. We really weren't happy with the bought bracket. As you can see, if you look at the sun rays here, they're sort of shaking, uh, and that is due to the bracket uh, flexing. Yeah, we had to take it back to the drawing board here. We'll just switch that off, that's our first one, but I can see that that camera's wobbling way too much, so we'll put it on a different type of mount and see if we can get a clearer bit of footage with it. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. This is the old belly pan off one of our old racing buggies. Um, what I've done is I'm gonna, I've drawn out this template here, and I'm actually thinking that might fit on there quite nicely, and we can mount our GoPro on it. Okay, we've made our little bracket. <laughs> this took us nearly two hours to get this right. We started with this one. Uh, got the holes around the wrong way. Anyhow, we've got this one now. And this should fit on nicely, I reckon. Got our little Allen key. Dush, put that in there. Screw him down nice and tight. Just like that, all nice and tight, awesome. Now, if we turn our drone up this way, We've now got our GoPro mount, and we should be able to just click her in there like that. Oh, blades miss it and everything. Look at that, guys. Let's hope this works. If this works, I am going to be absolutely stoked. Look at that, guys. That looks so pro, I reckon. In a matter of fact, it's a GoPro. It's working! We're going to film my old drone now, which has been flying for around about five, six years. Look at our super old drone, the poor old girl. It's taken so many hits and it still runs. This is the first DJI ever produced. Show us how she goes, Harry. <laughs>
there you go guys, I've made it quite clear that you don't need any fancy stuff to make these things fly. Go online, you might even pick yourself up a bargain and have a bit of fun with these old drones. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to tap that little subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.